Hello, welcome to BoxPred. Going to be doing something a little different in this video. I'm going to be talking about the Rugby World Cup, which is on right now in New Zealand. For all you rugby fans out there, and I'm just going to be giving my sort of prediction on who I think will win the World Cup. I think that New Zealand will win this World Cup, judging by the first games that I've seen. Uh, I know that they have not really lived up to their reputation in recent World Cups since they won it back in the 80s, and they've always seemed to fall short in this tournament. But they are on home ground, and from what I've seen, if they can keep playing like they've been playing, I think they'll win the World Cup. My reasons for this are... Anyone who has followed the England rugby team over recent times will know of Chris, Chris Ashton who moved from Rugby League to Rugby Union and has played for England and he has a very good try scoring record and the reason for his try scoring record was because of the skills that he brought from Rugby League to Rugby Union and that's the, the main skill being support play so when your teammate is attacking particularly in the opponent's half he is used to constantly following clo following extremely closely being a support runner to his teammate so that his teammate can offload the ball to him um, when he's close to being tackled and finding therefore Chris Ashton can find the gaps and that's where he gets if you look at his tries it's amazing how many tries he got from being just just through excellent support play which which is a main major skill to use in rugby league however now that skill for me is a main skill that is being brought to rugby union and it is becoming more apparent how important this skill is and from the first games that I've seen of all the teams nobody has done it better than New Zealand the support play although they didn't didn't uh, maybe they were unhappy with some aspects of their performance the New Zealand team support play in attack was second to none and their offloading in the tackles is second to none I've not seen another team do it as good as they do it and as effectively as they can do it and when they're firing on all cylinders that's what brings try after try for them is the running the support play the offloading out of tackles just the creativity that they have and I think that that's going to win them this Rugby World Cup in recent times in my opinion particularly down to uh, England and the English rugby kicking has been a major major key element to winning rugby matches and rugby tournaments and there's all, always that factor that um, New Zealand could be undone by a good kicking team that just gets the points on the board and shuts them out but my argument against this is that New Zealand are the masters of employing um, you can call them dirty tactics um, you can call them crafty tactics whatever you want to call them they do things in rucks and malls and they get away with it and they, they, they profit from it and they have some of the best players in the world such as Richie McCaw being one of them who do this type of thing and they for me won't be given away the amount of penalties that will lose them games I just don't think they will I think they'll be disciplined or they'll be too crafty the referees and linesmen and I think that in attack the longer the competition goes on they may become rather unstoppable an unstoppable force as far as the home nations are concerned for my team Wales um, it was a good performance against the current world champion South Africa in the first game to lose by just a point. Um, a bit disappointing not to win that that uh, that game though. I thought we were the better team, 
are the more dominant team and the kicking let us down. I don't think Wales have a strong enough kicking game to um, to support their their attacking game to really you know pose a threat to winning this thing. I think we may get to the quarters or even the semis, um, and that will be a good result for us. Um, I think England will probably get to around the same stages. I I'm not sure about Scotland and Ireland. I think they're struggling at the moment. Um, to, to get to that to, to the levels I think that Wales and England are just hitting hitting a bit more of a peak and a, in a bit better form right now and I think they'll get a bit further and then you always have Australia and South Africa they will be there or thereabouts and Argentina are going to be the dark horses as well because they're a very physical team who can also play good rugby as we saw in their, their game against England they're a good they are, they are a force to be reckoned with um <clears throat> So yes, I <clears throat> obviously you have France as well, who are always up there. But I think that New Zealand are going to win it this year, and that the reason I feel is because of their support play. I just think their support play and their offloading and tackles is uh, going to be a key element to their success. So please, guys, let me know what you think. Comment. What are your thoughts so far on the World Cup? <clears throat> who do you think is going to win it, and why? Who have you been impressed by? Who have you not been impressed by? Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Interested to uh, have a chat with some of you guys. So that's it. I'm going to leave it there. This is Boxpred. Thanks for watching. I'm out.